morning. I'd like to make one point that lies at the heart of this case and cuts across all claims asserted in the complaints. Nothing Microsoft did foreclosed Netscape from any portion of the marketplace. Microsoft has some market power and some, some discretion in pricing, but that is not equivalent to monopoly power. Microsoft's conduct was not simply a series of isolated, unrelated events, but rather a coordinated course of anti-competitive conduct, and that conduct was directed to maintaining its monopoly power. Is that what we're really talking about, well, one I, monopolist replacing another? Are we fighting for monopoly, fighting for the newest, latest monopoly status? Your Honor, my answer again is we don't know. And I Let me just say a brief word. I'm Ed Black, president of Computer and Community. In the real world, Microsoft invested a tremendous amount of resources to make very complex intertwining of code for the purpose, really, of becoming an anti-competitive barrier to other products being able to be part of the overall user experience. The judge panel today was completely dissatisfied with the government's tortured logic of trying to suggest that consumers, again, stupid consumers, unable to make choices, also have a desire, an unmet desire, for a browserless operating system. The Bush administration has signaled that it's likely to be much more friendly to business and skeptical about cases like this, particularly cases that involve a business in a rapidly evolving sector of the economy. So if this case is reversed and sent back for more proceedings, I think the administration will take a very hard look at what it should do.